Man, what what a ride. So last night about 3 a.m., uh, this this happened right here. 100,000 crazy individuals out there decided that it was a good idea to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, honestly, can't thank you guys enough. If you've known me at all for the last seven years of my life, give or take, this has been one of the biggest goals for me. Not 100,000 subscribers, but a successful YouTube channel. Something that I can do full time, and it's it's a goal for a lot of people. So make no mistake, I know how important and valuable and rare it is to be able to do this full time. And I, I just can't thank you guys enough. This number doesn't mean a lot in the grand scheme of things. Not a lot is going to change around here. Well, I think it'll probably change here because of that. Six months. Six months of renovation. Cool. Please, make as much noise as possible. This number is massive. 100,000 people. That's a ton of people that would fill up most stadiums, which if you think about it is, is crazy. I know that in the grand scheme of things, there are channels with much, much, much more than 100,000, and we can reach great heights beyond 100,000. But for some reason, this milestone means a ton to me because many of you may know I had another channel. I poured five years into it. It got to about 80,000 subscribers and then just dead. I couldn't grow it. The harder I worked, the worse it worked out for me. I would upload a video and lose a thousand subscribers, 500, just from one upload. And it was insane. I don't even really know why Deep down, I don't know why that happened, but it did. So I started this one from scratch. I was so close. I was four fifths of the way to 100,000 and I walked away and started with zero again because I wanted to do it right. And that was a hard decision to make. Like it's, it's very tough to walk away from something like that. You just have to know when it's time to take a step back and try a different path. That's what I did. It worked out and I couldn't have done it without you guys. And that sounds super cliche, but I, I couldn't like literally you guys are the reason this number is what it is, but also the submissions like this channel was built on the EDC weekly. And I know that I've kind of strayed away from that right now. It will be back in full force. I promise once this is no longer an issue, it will be back in full force, but this channel was built on that show. The other channel had grown massively because of that show, the EDC Weekly, but that show literally would not happen if you guys weren't here submitting your EDCs to the show. So more than I think a lot of YouTubers, I have you guys to think because you have helped me create this content. You have helped grow this community. The community is what this is all about. This is more than a YouTube channel for me. It's more than a business. This is a community. Just spending time in the Discord or searching stuff on Instagram that is EDC related, you'll see that this community is thriving, it's growing, it's insane how great the people of this community are. I've made so many friends in the last year and a half that I wouldn't have if I had not just stepped back and started fresh. John Smith from Brassworks, Michael from Hitch and Timber, Jeremy from Tale of Knives, you've got Will from Tactile Turn, and all of these other companies. I wish I had the time to thank each and every one of them, just dedicate several minutes to each one of them because they have made this possible. And uh, it's just upwards from here, like 100,000. That's That was my goal and I, I passed it and I never really thought about what would happen after. Like I've dreamed about what I want to happen, but I've never, I haven't really planned for what to do now. Like this was my goal, I hit it. And frankly, I've never done that before. <laughs> I usually quit before I ever reach a goal. So here we are. This is my first time meeting a goal and uh, I don't know what to do now. I'm literally at a loss for, for what's next. Like, do I shoot for a million? Is that too high? 200,000, is that too low? I don't know. I don't know, I don't wanna plan. I tried to plan out what I was gonna say for this video and that's just not what I'm good at. I'm not good at planning, I'm better at just doing. So here's to doing some more and growing the channel some more and beer and fall and 
pumpkins and chicken stews and all of my favorite things. I know I'm rambling. The point is, is simply thank you. This has been a massive goal for me to hit for a long, long time, but, but we did it. We did it pretty quickly, 482 days. That's insane. And I, I just can't thank you guys enough. Anybody who has liked a video or shared with me, submitted a photo, joined the Discord, hung out and talked with me there, any sort of interaction whatsoever with the channel, thank you, honestly, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. But for now, the family and I are headed up to Boston. We're leaving tomorrow. We're gonna be gone until next week. The budget knife video that I was gonna conclude this week, I sort of ran out of time on that and I would rather do it the right way than to rush something out and just have something to put up on the channel. So I'm putting that one off. It'll come next week. So until then, I'm going to be mostly offline, just reveling in this achievement, enjoying passing this milestone finally and celebrating a marriage uh, in the family and uh, just, just enjoying this time, having some beers, enjoying the cooler weather and uh, just having a good old time. Something I've not done in a while, just kicking back for a little bit. So I'll see you guys next week and until then, carry on. Hey modders, last week I introduced a new series. I didn't quite have a name for it yet, so I sent out a poll and got a lot of feedback and I finally decided on a name. It is called the EDC Weekly and after tons of submissions this week, I went through, picked out the best, and this is the very first EDC Weekly. The next EDC comes from Joshua Head, and right off the bat, you can tell that this one is heavily themed. It is all black, there's nothing out of place. So this is my personal EDC update, and this is also the EDC Weekly 025. So it's been eight months since I made the last EDC update video, and a lot has changed. Back in February, I did an everyday carry video showing off all the gear that I carry in my pockets on a daily basis that I actually use. Boy, does it feel great to be back. Welcome to the brand new channel, The Best Damn EDC. This is the EDC Weekly. So here it is, the Rovivon Aurora A3. You've probably never seen it before, and if you have, you've probably not heard too much about it. This video is talking about custom Swiss Army knives from John Smith, also known as Brassworks. It is time for my EDC because it's been a very long time since I've done that. It is way too early for me right now. I should be making the EDC Weekly today. However, I have been asked by Lever Gear to come to their place of business. So we are here at Blade Show 2019, and I'm here with Zach from Blade HQ, and uh, he's gonna show us what's in his pocket. All right, <laughs> Sorry. you've got a, uh, you've got quite a bit of stuff here, yeah? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best time EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. But with all of that said, let's do the damn thing. <laughs> 